And now that Surgeon has kind of had a little party, my name is Robotic Master, and I am here to introduce the start of the Bamzuki Tag Competition. And welcome everybody to the Bam Zuki Tag Competition. This is the first of many parts where Zooks will be competing for the honour to win the Bam Zuki Tag Trophy. There will be 12 Zooks competing in this competition, ranging from the very legends that forged our Bam Zuki history from Bam Zuki past, to new Bam Zuki legends waiting to forge their way into the Hall of Fame. Will any of them reach there? Who knows? But let's give a brief description of how the tag competition will work before we begin. Each round will last 45 minutes long, and in each round, the aim is to score as many points as possible. There's a purple target in the middle of the arena, and the aim is the Zooks to hit that target. Once that target is hit, that target gets put into a random part of the arena, where the Zooks chase after it. Each time it gets hit, it gives a point to the team that hits it, and the aim is to score as many points as possible. The team with the most points after 45 minutes wins! Any draws will not be counted and will have to be redone again because I really want a winner from all of these contests. And any draws at the end, any teams that finish in the same position, will be decided on points difference. You may notice on the standing that I kind of only figured out how to do this by about round 3, so do bear in mind that score charts are before round 3 may show a slightly different scoring system. I had a bit of an issue with the software that I was using. However, thanks to a very lovely person called Bear in the Bounds of your Discord community, I finally found out how that worked. Anyway, without further ado, let's introduce the first teams taking part. Round 1 Introducing Flower Pot Flower Pot is one of the slowest suits in the competition, moving at 100 centimeters a second. However, it is also one of the tallest suits. It may seem very top heavy, but it does look very impressive and does look like a flower. Being incredibly wide will make Zooks very difficult to kind of get around it. Plus, AA batteries had a pretty decent 2018, coming third in Ready Steady Zook, as well as winning Zook Joust and having decent displays in Merry Go Zook and the Sumo League that took part in 2018. Will Flower Pot continue this tradition of decent displays by AA Battery, or will this be a complete flop? Who knows? Also introducing... Wiz. The origins of this mighty Zook is completely unknown. Some say he was created by Pingu, some say he was created by Zog, and others, well, they don't really know and don't really care. Um, but anyway, Wiz is a very compact Zook, but is incredibly heavy. He's one of the heaviest Zooks in the competition, but its speed is pretty decent despite this weight. He could be a dark horse. He looks like a bug and seems to move like one. He seems to remind me very much of a ladybird. Not normally known for their speed, but this ladybird certainly has a turbo booster on it, and could be one to watch out for in this competition. 3, 2, 1, go! And both suits made a quick start there. It looks pretty even so far with both suits gaining a point. Wiz seems to have the advantage. I um, do believe bit of the first ball. There goes Flower Pot. Should be an easy victory for Wiz now, who seems to be quickly picking up the points, completely ignoring Flower Pot. If that was me, I'd have a real urge to knock him out. Oh, there we go. He seemed to listen to me. You're thinking exactly the same as me there, mate. Nice one. He did not have any respect for his opponent there, but I probably would have done the exact same thing. So can you really blame him? I certainly can't. He seems to be picking up ahead of Steen and picking up a lot of points. Would that be enough? It looks to be good. And I think the time must be getting to a close soon. There are only 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, looks like time is up. Let's see how they did. Your winner is Wiz. And the final score of that round was 3 points to Flowerpot and 17 points to Wiz. The early fall of Flowerpot seemed to heavily disadvantage it in the long run and he couldn't get a lot of points. Wiz took full advantage. But continuing future rounds? Who knows? Now on to the next contest. Introducing... Triantula. From the depths of the Amazonian jungle is the Triantula. The magical tree spider that scares its foes with its demonic yellow eyes. It's scary, it's fast, and has three part legs. Nothing can stand in this Zook's way because he'll probably clamber over you. His body seems to be quite high off the ground, so it's not like to get stuck on anything. 
but being incredibly wide may make Zoot trouble getting round it. May might also might make it round, find it difficult to get round Zoot. Doesn't mean you have to get round him, you can just like run over them like a gazelle. But we'll see how much of a gazelle he is when he gets fa face to face with the Zooks of today's contest. Good luck, Moiner Miner. Also introducing Cherry Owl. Cherry Owl is a complete parody of the ever popular soup Cherub, which is which has been openly admitted by the great Shima who made this soup. Cherub, for those who are wondering, is a popular zook that had a medium success and always came out as a bride in many of the contests recently. It didn't seem to do very well in Bamzuki 2017, but came runner-up in Bamzuki Ready Steady Zook and the Bamzuki Merry Go Zook competition, both times being runner-up to Tiny Tim, who seemed to be on a tear last year. As for Cherry L, he looks pretty impressive, he's got a wedge to kind of flip over the other zooks. It does look pretty impressive and a decent top speed and that line could be one to watch here today. 3, 2, 1, go! And a quick start for both suits there. Cherry L has got some very early points there, picking up a 3 point advantage before being flipped over by Triangula, who should be able to pick up a quick win as long as he leaves him alone. Seems to be doing just that right now. I think he's leveled. Oh no, Cherry L's picked up the lead again. Though Triantia has very quickly taken the advantage back and draws up level before going ahead. He seems to run like a gazelle and does look like he's going to tip over at times, but he seems to have just enough balance to get past these targets. Seems to be picking up a good score at the moment and doing incredibly well. He's got a few minutes left, I mean a few seconds even, so he's got plenty of time to pick up a decent amount of points. Cherry L does not look like he's going to score any more points today, which is a shame considering the great start. Although time is up, let's see how Triantula did. Your winner is Triantula. In what many people may consider an upset, Triantula picks up the win, winning 14 to 4 over Cherry L. He certainly up took advantage of the unfortunate situation that Cherry L found itself in, picking up a 10 point advantage. He does seem to have some stability issues, but he don't, won't care. Very good result. It's a shame for Cherry L, who will want to recover next week. Let's hope he does. Introducing... Squiggle. Now for the Zook that is to find the definition of a Zook that can dart, it's Squiggle, created by JB. It posts a very decent top speed of 122.6 centimeters a second, and with a decent lap time of about 8 seconds, Squiggle certainly struts the stuff and looks impressive. It does its own unique dance where it squiggles about, with the aim to push Zooks out the way they get anywhere close. It's aerodynamic and fast. This could be a Zook that goes far. Let's hope it does. Good luck, JB. Also introducing... Longbot. EB Superstar's Vario Grandi is no stranger to success. In the early years of Banzuki, he won Series 3 with his mighty team of BB Superstars and particularly Ali Uber, who did really well taking out the ever fancy Canary Wolves. Since then, he has also had very decent success in competitions, especially last year, dominating proceedings with the mighty Tiny Tim. Long Bob seems to be an evolution of such, being incredibly fast at 133.6 centimeters and a decent lap time, one of the fastest six of the competition. This is certainly one to watch out for. The expectations of Grandy are incredibly high, with many expecting him to top the charts. Can Long Bob deliver? Only time will tell. 3, 2, 1, go! And it's a very quick start from Lombob there who's picking up the early points. Squiggle has found himself stuck on the railings for Lombob just to kind of slowly take everything. And he doesn't need to do this but he seems to be going after Squiggly and trying to push him off the map. This should leave him totally unopposed just in case Squiggly does get back on but I would have thought he would have got on by now. He seems to be top centred meaning he's completely unable to get any traction on the ground, which has left him getting completely stuck. Or oh, high centred really, that's what I should have really said, but hey, Lombard doesn't even care. He's picking up what seems to be like a flawless victory. I don't even think Squiggle got points before he got stuck, but we'll soon find out at the end of the contest. Still enough time for Lombard to pick up a few more points, which he's currently doing quite rapidly, but he's run out of time. What is the final score? Your winner is Lombard. 
Is it me or does it seem to me that Squiggle seemed to give that to Long Bob? With a 17-0 win and Squiggle spending the entire match on the sidelines, it really gives that impression. Long Bob tried to get him back into proceedings, but it seemed to do more of just limit the amount of points he can score. Will that prove costly at the end of the day? Who knows? But for now, Long Bob will go away with a 17 point advantage. Not a bad start, if I do say so myself. Introducing. Cyclone MK5 And this team has the largest fan base in the whole competition. It is Cyclone MK5, the Wolfram's debut entry into the Bound TV Discord competition. It's actually the lightest Zook of the competition, weighing in at least half the weight or nearly half the weight of any other Zook taking part. It does look impressive and does remind me of the jet engine. It's very maneuverable and relatively quick. It's certainly going to look impressive, but will the lightweight cause it to ping around the map? Who knows, but one thing is for certain, a pretty decent entry for someone making their debut. Good luck to the Wolf fan. Also introducing... Mr. Bugface. And here we have the most strangest looking Zook of the competition. Welcome to Mr. Bugface. He seems to remind me of that Pokemon, Nedian only with giant golden buck teeth. Don't know why, but that does look very unique. His giant teeth act as front stabilizers, has a very similar speed to Longbob, and is set is argued and touted to be Longbob's main rival in competition. The shoe is also someone who's very highly rated and seems to do very decently in any competitions it enters in. Always finishing there or thereabouts in terms of the standings. Will Shu finally win one? I think he's won a few in the past, but he certainly wants to go back to winning ways today. He's looking impressive and scary. Go Buck Tooth Lady Anne! 3, 2, 1, go! And they're off, and a very quick start for Mr. Bugface. Completely going under Mr. Cyclone there, who seems to. Is that a glitch or is that just me? Did it look like that Mr. Bugface kind of bounced off of that target? They both look evenly matched, but I think Bugface does have a slight speed advantage here, which is using the full effect. Picking up an enemy lead all again, he kind of bounced off, looking incredibly unstable. Mr. Bugface, oh, that's largely disrespectful, pushing Cyclone off like that. It does look unstable, Mr. Bugface. Would that be a problem going forward? He seems to be picking up a very large point lead at the moment. It's probably similar to that of Lombob, but he seems to be getting more points. He seems to be going there a lot quicker, even though the very similar speed Maneuverability is amazing and it could prove well for the rest of the competition. Must be getting close to the time now. He's picking up a very good track record there. What is the final score? Your winner is Mr. Bugface. A dominating display there by Mr. Bugface, beating Cyclone 21 to 4. Very impressive start for Mr. Bugface. Meaning he puts himself level with Long Bob, but will probably go ahead in the amount of points he scored. It could be fairly impressive, and he did look pretty convincing. Did not look unstable at times, but seemed to be more than enough to take out Psycho. What does this mean for the rest of the contest? Who knows? Introducing... Pope John Paul II Pope John Paul II sounds like a zoop that's come straight from a church. In fact, it's come from an igloo from Antarctica, from Pingu, spending its time in the cold depths certainly means some creative choices are made. Either they're super predominantly quick, they are very hard to control, or they move at the speed of a tectonic plate. This appears to be the former, being the fastest zook of the competition at 145.4 cm a second. However, I believe it's posted the slowest lap time. How does that work? I don't know. I'm blaming the Antarctican ice. But Pingu is a zook that is very experienced and who many people look up to. Let's see how he does. Also introducing... Evolute. Evolute is a zoo created by Bear Rebel, a zoo who's had a very impressive displays in previous competitions in, in the past. He's won Bound Zuki 2017 with a very impressive zook called the One-Eyed Monster. Evolute is looking to do the exact same thing in Bound Zuki Tag. Evolute has impressive stats but is one of the lightest zooks in the competition also seems to be one of the slowest on paper. Will that be a disadvantage? However, being no stranger to winning competitions with Tag, Bear Rebel knows what he's doing. So high things are expected to Evelyn today. Let's hope it delivers. 3, 
two, one, go! With Pope John Paul or PJP picking up an early advantage, it is a lot quicker and in theory the quickest single in the competition and Everlook's already popped off. So I think this is going to be a very dominant performance here by PJP. He's very quick and you can kind of tell by the speed. It does take a while to turn and it's not always 100% accurate but you can see on its speed it's going to be very difficult to catch if it's in a straight line. With a top speed of 140 centimeters a second, it is really impressive and it's actually the fastest Zook in the competition when you look just at its sprint speed. However, the lap time, it's kind of easy to tell just based off this why that time is so high. It seems to like take a little while to get back up to the speed, it hasn't got high acceleration and it's tipped itself over. And that brings a premature end to proceedings. What did it score before that happened though? Your winner is Pope John Paul II. And what looks to be the biggest margin of the day, Pope John Paul beats Evolute 18 to nothing. Fairly impressive, but was helped by Evolute kind of falling off really early. Despite its instabilities and its wild nature, PJP has crafted a massive lead here. Only by one point at the moment, he is certainly looking impressive and his speed is certainly acting to his advantage. Let's hope he can take that forward in future rounds. Introducing. Snooze. Oh, sorry, you just woke me up. I just got hit by Snooze. Surgeon's entry into the competition. He is the creator of this magical channel which you're currently watching now. A very decent top speed and a very decent lap time. He could be one to watch. Being the third lightest suit of the competition will certainly make it a wee bit pingy compared to some of the other heavyweights here. But it's incredibly quick. Often the bridesmaid competition, Surgeon. Seal does build some very impressive Zooks, but the Zooks never really perform to his intended ability. Can Snooze buck this trend and make his way to the top of the leaderboard? He's certainly got the stats. Will the performances match him? No. Good luck, Surgeon. I'm sure all your fans are rooting for you, considering this is your channel. Also introducing... The One-Eyed Monster. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to introduce a legend. The One-Eyed Monster Known for winning BAM TV 2017, dominating the Zook tag aspects of the competition, leaving suits like Purple Monkey Dishwasher and Pyramid Head right in its dust. It's been resurrected for this tag competition, and it's one that everyone fears. No one can escape its brilliance, and high things are expected. One-Eyed Monster is one of the favourites to win this entire contest. Although it may appear to be one of the slowest suits in the competition, when you look at some of the replays it seems to access an extra gear making it one of the fastest suits. Can it use that speed to its advantage? I sure hope it can, but the suits, if it can, the other suits must be running scared. Good luck others, and good luck the One-Eyed Monster. 3, 2, 1, go! And they're off, Snooze picked up a very early point and seems to be dominating proceedings. Let's have a one-up and one up one monster who's currently three one behind. And Snooze, oh no, Snooze is gone. one eye monster should be able to pick up. one eye monster, I think he's now going to pull ahead. And it's a one eye monster that's going to win this one, which is kind of a shell, no. Didn't really hang about after that. He seems to just get what he wanted and then run away. Let's get the final score. Your winner is... The One-Eyed Monster. The One-Eyed Monster showcases experience here by beating the mighty Snooze pretty comfortably. Snooze took himself off early, he looked like he was going to dominate proceedings, and as soon as he came off, One-Eyed Monster made sure to score just about enough points to take advantage, and nothing more. Certainly an impressive day at the office for the mighty One-Eyed Monster. Now that that rounds up the way, let's take a quick sneak peek at standings. As you can see here, it's fairly early days with our six winners, Mr. Bugface, Pope John Paul, Wiz, Long Bob, Triantia, and the One-Eyed Monster taking an early lead. The Cyclone, Cherry L, Snooze, Flowerpot, Evolute, and Squiggle will be wanting to avenge their first round losses. But for that, we're going to have to wait until next episode. My name's been Robotic Master, and thank you for tuning in. Now I'm going to hand back to Surgeon, who's probably going to do a little tap dance and end the episode. Until then, next time, I'm signing off.